got something new for you today. A flagship phone with wheel. I sometimes do reviews of rugged phones, but usually those are about value, utility, and are mostly good for the workshop and in the trades. I'm a shop girl. I review shop phones. Today, I've got one with a really top-end camera and specs. The CT Exxon 30 Ultra. I'm not going to sit here and describe it while it's in the box. So let's open it up and see what they've sent me. Okay, this is the adapter, USB cable, and a pair of earphones. Okay, please select the language English star. Connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, it's really slim, about 8 mm and they say 188 grams. It's got a full lens camera system that I'll get into in a minute. A Qualcomm Snapdragon AAA processor that's an excellent SOC, but poor implementation can make a phone with a great processor bad. And great implementation can make a phone with a bad processor pretty good. This is why you never go just on specs, but it's a good sign. The screen is 6.67 inches, 2400 by 1080. Gorilla Glass 5 front and back. Looks like it's going to be a fingerprint magnet, but I'll put it in the case anyway. As far as the cameras go, it's got a portrait lens, wide and ultra wide angle lens and then a telephoto lens you can shoot with each simultaneously and select which lens you like. Each sensor is 64 megapixels. It can record 8K 30 frames per second, which is just silly. I don't need that. I don't know who needs that, really. Low light performance is what we are looking for. It says it has image stabilization. I'm going to want to test that quite a bit. I usually have to use a gimbal with cell phone video and it would be nice if I could just leave that at home. It's also got some insane level of zoom, pop optical, pop digital with those 64 megapixels. I'll have to see how that looks in action. It is a 5G phone. We've got 5G everywhere in Shenzhen, even in elevators and such. Check where you are for 5G coverage before buying a phone just for this feature. It's got a 4,600 mAh battery and 65W quick charge. The model they sent me to review is the 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage model. That might be a little light for me as a daily driver. There is also a model with 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage model, which might be what you want. For me, I'm a vlogger. I shoot and edit a lot of video with my phone. I need some muscle and I need some elbow room. This phone is going to have to be pretty special for me to consider over my trusty Huawei P30 Pro. As you all know, I hate judging electronics by specs off the box. I know too many engineers here in Shenzhen who earn a living gaming those numbers. Honestly, I think the only place you can review a phone properly is real life use in the real world. My girlfriend Kaidi and I are about to do a little traveling. Let's hit the road and take the CD Exxon 30 Ultra with us for a spin and see how it does. So 
right now we are still waiting at the airport. Uh, we ordered some halal food. This is the soup. I guess I guess you can put the soup in. How's it? For salting. We're supposed to put this inside. Put some of the inside, and then there's some kimchi. And beef. There aren't a lot of beef. Whenever I this is called Lanzhou noodle. It's a very famous chain store in China. I, I guess it's originally from Lanzhou. It's because of the name of it. I hope, hopefully, I can visit Lanzhou one day. But yes, they 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 eat halal food also. So it's very easy to buy um, halal food, Vietnamese food, uh, Cantonese food at the airport, Asian airport. And it's So we just got out of the car and right now I'm at Kaidi's home. Her mom prepares so much food for us. And tomorrow is their New Year's, I guess. If we can't finish it tomorrow, they can eat it too. My hair is such a mess. Wow, this is using the hand. Yes. Is it not using the hand? Yes, it is using the hand. Look at those flowers. Those are flowers. Those are flowers. Her mom prepares so much food for us. I, 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 I don't think I can finish it. But I think it's imp uh, not polite if I don't. Use this one. Oh, bother something. Oh. Oh. She's showing us um, her dad's picture because. We are at a local breakfast place uh, in Ely. We just got off the airplane this morning, so we didn't have any breakfast. Thank you. Wow. Intestines, um, lamb intestines, really good. Hey, I should put this one. Yeah. 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 Take a look at their new tea. I know it looks kind of strange with the white stuff on the top. This is probably the new tea, right? This one. 奶皮凝结了，对，它上面是白色是奶皮。Okay. Now the thin layer on the milk when you heat it up, there will be a thin layer on on the top, and 
has this. My girlfriend loves this. They, she told me it's their like um, traditional breakfast.这个一望无际不知道砸上来的反正就是缺水缺氧但是不是高原反应啊就好什么就这么这么多山边这山上面有很多小红花吃不了这花不能吃只能看还挺可爱的 The flower is so cute I don't know what the name is 这什么花你知道吗 Something inside that It's special There are tons of cows and sheep over there 你住一个房间的话就没有电有没有水怎么生活的应该 Oh my gosh, do so for eating, not for keeping us pets. There's a, there are a lot. How do Yang and you are what a chin. And there are still some snow on the mountain. It's crazy. There are snow in the sun. Kids are so happy. Kids are running around. They saw a cow and snow on a mountain. <laughs> Magnificent. Walking down now. Scary. Hello, what I was thinking. They put their beer also in, in the back. This is a beer. 这是什么啊没有写应该就是啤酒是吗要买一瓶试一下吗就是自己酿的酒这是那个卡瓦斯啊哦后面那个肚包肉是什么应该是纯果汁的烤鸡还有那个什么烤蛋我要吃烤蛋然后加那个东西然后这个是什么这个面肺子这个这个是面肺子就是肠它后面那个什么我们点一些吧但是面我们吃吧还有那个烤包子吃吧因为我都拍了这个看着怎么有点像那个麻辣烫是不
。他是自己在喝那个汤吗？买买提，我们要我要几串这个肉吧？待会回来，再先看一下。哇、wow, ， looks so delicious。This is what I'm gonna have later. Is it curry? So we are taking kind of like a tuk tuk in Italy because we can buy a taxi easily. But you can find this kind of uh, four wheel. Um, uh, cart everywhere, and they have. They also have the one that, uh, like in my video, like my bubble truck, they have that kind of video. Uh, no, they have that kind of cart. Um, but at first, I thought it just for old people, but here it's actually there for the people as a taxi. But I don't see any license plate. <laughs> so we are kind of like in the top top. Top top is the one that I took in Thailand. Here we don't. I don't. They have taxi, but it's hard to have one, so that's why we got on a tricycle. This is one of my favorite. Bao pi bao si, steaming hot. Great. This looks like the last one. What is this? Oh, this is... What is this? What is this? This is the ginger. But this one is the ginger. Yes, it's the ginger. I also want it. Hello. Hello. It's in the box. I want a hot dog and a hot dog. Do you want to eat? Yes, I'm going to eat. How much is it? Uh, it's hot. Yes. 然后它这里早上就有这个卡瓦斯啊，不是有吗？这个，这呃要一杯，呃要一杯卡瓦斯。So、this is the beverage， 这是酒对吧？这是酒吗？这这是酒吗？啊？这是酒吗？不是酒呀，这是喝那个三块酒花。哦，也是养颜的。哦，好，谢谢。谢谢。那个手机酸奶也好的，很天然的，没有一个添加剂。This looks so good. I'm gonna have the chicken drum, and I'm gonna have. I want a one egg bowl, one egg chicken. 哦， they buy so many. I don't think they can finish it in one day. Maybe they use it in a restaurant or something. Wow. Look at all those desserts. This looks. This cake looks like the cake I have in Canton. When I was a kid, my mom always bought this for me as snack. Look so different. Maybe some of the donuts. Is there a donut? You how? I want a piece of this. Then a piece of this. Then there are some pastries. 
。这个蛋糕是真的吗？假的。哦、oh, ，我就说不可能不放到冰箱。哦，对，算了。哦，然后要一份这个。This one I like it a lot of cream inside. 来几个？呃，一个，一个。一个对，每样要一个。压一个。对。要掰的话，三个一起掰吗？不能只掰一个。Okay, we had to cut our trip a bit short, just three days out of the 10 planned. But here's my initial impressions. Keep in mind that according to the CTE technicians, the software has yet to be finalized. Okay, pros and cons. Pros, build quality is great, it's solid, no surprise there. That's pretty much table stakes for a flagship phone. But good to know the dirty ultra hit the mark. This is my first 5G phone. I don't know if you ever used one, but I was blown away by the speed uploading video and pictures as I shot them in Xinjiang. Obviously, that's all highly dependent on your local carrier. But if you've got 5G, the CT Exxon 30 Ultra won't be the bottleneck. I was running a lot of processor intensive stuff at the same time, shooting 4K video, running a VPN, uploading to the cloud, and not one hiccup. Battery life took a hit, but which I'll get into in a minute. But speed and performance did not. It can handle whatever you can throw at it. The display is bright, clear, and easy to view. The wide-angle camera is new to me, but once I got used to it, it came in very handy. I can't see using a phone without it now. The underscreen fingerprint reader works very well and makes for a clean build. My OS 11 is a very lightly skinned version of Android. Nothing objectionable. Okay, now the cons. This was the 128GB version they sent me. Don't even bother if you do any amount of video. Flagship phones these days don't allow for external memory and 128 gigs fills up really fast. That's not really a phone problem, but you won't get much out of the phone unless you get it with decent specs. So I don't see why they're selling a version with insufficient memory, budget for more memory. Cameras, I'm told this is the pre-production software and it's being upgraded as we speak. But the selfie camera quality just falls short right now for a flagship. The other cameras were quite good as you can see. That said, I'm going to do a follow-up review in a little while once they push the software update that's supposed to fix the selfie camera issue. Like most Android phones, it has automatic battery optimization turned on for most of the apps. Think of that like training wheels for a bicycle. If you're like me and need to keep a lot of stuff running in the background for work, you'll want to manage that manually. And yes, you'll burn through that battery if you turn optimization off. That's to be expected. There's no free lunch with smartphones. Processor power, slim build, or battery life. Choose two. Personally, I'm happy with the granular options so I can get all the power I need when I need it. There was no crashing, freezing, nothing like that. Solid performance the entire trip. Final verdict. 
Should you buy this phone for gaming as someone else? I don't game. I have no idea. For business, absolutely. It's a powerhouse. Just make sure you charge up regularly. For entertainment, check. Beautiful for watching videos. But for vlogging, I'm sorry, CTE. It's tough for me to get review units, and I hate to burn this bridge. But until that selfie camera gets fixed, I can't recommend the Exxon 30 Ultra for anyone whose business requires the use of it. If it gets fixed this month, that's great. But if ifs and ands were pots and pans, all beggars would be tinkers. Again, this is a preliminary review. And with any luck, when I do the follow-up, this issue will be addressed. That's it for today. This is the Exxon 30 Ultra, and I'm Naomi Wu. I'll see you all next time.